My name's Tommy Harper. Uh, I'm the, one of the producers for Escape from Spiderhead. We do have some exterior locations here. Um, on the Gold Coast, we shot out at the Whit Sundays. Uh, we shot out at Hens Dam. We shot out at Darlington and one or two other places. You can shoot, obviously, water work here. You can shoot jungle work here. You can shoot mountains. I mean, it's truly California. Feel, it, California, you can have a lot of different locations in one place. And I feel like Queensland in particular is just like that in Calif with California. I can find a lot of things here. I can find the desert, like anything and everything. So for Escape from Spiderhead, we wanted a, a variety of different locations. Um, first, we were looking for a, an exterior location that would make the film feel very um, large in scope since a lot of the film takes place interior. Uh, so we, we chose the Whit Sundays and the islands of the Whit Sundays to give us a massive scope and to, in visual effects, put our facility base there. Um, and I think we, we did a great job with a lot of aerial photography, a lot of um, boat to boat work, and the movie will feel very, very um, large in scope for that. We also had different flashback scenes in the film in different storylines where we needed a location that felt very Americana. And we found that out in Darlington, um, where it's, a, I mean, it looks like Texas, it looks like parts of California. And so we built an old trailer, we put it out there, and it kind of gave us a little bit of a di different texture to the film where you felt like you're in a totally different place. Um, we also filmed at a dam, we had to connect, had to connect to tissues, pieces of the film that we had to figure out how to make it bridge with the Whit Sundays, what we had already shot or were going to shoot out there. So we chose Hens, Hens Dam um, as that location. We built a bit of a dock and a set piece there and combined the two together. And I think it fits perfectly. Our, another location we shot at was Talabadra Valley, um, which we had a combined um, one of the Darlington locations, and we wanted something a little closer to the convention center for us because we just schedule-wise we were prepping and shooting. And so we chose the valley to kind of combine the two sets together, and which gave, gave us a great look as well. And which surprised me, which we didn't put in the movie, was about you know, 50, 100 meters up the road from where we shot was a complete jungle location. So I thought that was very, really interesting. So for me, I just clock it in my brain for other projects that, you know, could be could be happening soon. We're sitting here at the Gold Coast Convention Center, which is a diamond for us. We found it um, uh, very quickly in our process. We came to Queensland and the Gold Coast looking for a soundstage to build our set. And it's extremely busy here. And we got led to the Convention Center. And with the city of Gold Coast helping us scout different venues, we just, as soon as we saw a site visit of the place of the Convention Center, we fell in love with it. When we first came into the convention center, I thought to myself, oh, it'll be, it'll be a great experience. We'll be contained. It'll be our own little world. Now, finishing the movie and have struck the sets and everybody's leaving, it probably was a thousand times more than what I thought it was going to be. The stages are climate controlled. Uh, the auditorium, I should say, which we converted into stages. Um, their auditoriums, their halls we used as stages, they're soundproof. Uh, the staff here is very accommodating. We used their catering, which was fantastic and great for our crew, and their security as well. And so it's, um, it's kind of like an old, doing an old-fashioned movie in an old-fashioned studio where you come to one place every day and everything is under one roof. So we are extremely lucky to have found this place. I hope, I hope they continue <laughs> doing movies here. I have a lot of friends that have shot big movies um, down on the Gold Coast. And now that I'm here and finally doing my first movie, and I'm talking to, to the friends, they, they, their immediate question to me is, you love it, right? And I do. And it's a great place to be. And um, since I've been here for the last five, six months, my phone rings a few times a week, everybody asking me about my experience um, in Queensland and on the Gold Coast. And how is it to do a movie during um, the pandemic down here? And how are the crews? And um, I'm probably flooding uh, the industry a bit because I'm telling everybody to come down here. Um, but I do think it's a great place to shoot, even in normal times. For, I want to say thank you to uh, Screen Queensland, the, uh, the team of um, Australian government, the team of Queensland government, and the city of Gold Coast, and all the support that they gave us. Um, we came very fast to the country, mounted the movie very quick, and we p would never have been able to do it without the support of, of all the agencies, all the government, and everybody got behind us, gave us everything we needed. I hope uh, 
in my travels over the next two years, I, I can do another film in Australia. I like it for all the reasons of the weather and feel like I'm very much in, in California. It feels very um, uh, at home for me. I love the crews here. I feel safe here. Um, I think for doing a movie for me in the pandemic, uh, I couldn't be in a better place. Um, even if I wasn't in a pandemic, I'd be very fortunate be, to be here. So I, I hope for me, for the next uh, few movies I do, I hope one of them at least lands here.